Just in time for summer, here are three fun and easy flying projects you can make from common materials. The Sonic Monocopter flies just like a maple seed and comes in five really cool designs. The Sonic Boomerang, also with five designs, will actually come back to you when you throw it. And the action figure parachute that you can throw in the air for cool skydiving thrills. Or, if you have an RC airplane like this one, you can drop them from the air from really high altitude. That is, if your action figure isn't afraid of heights. Oh no! Hey there, it's Richie with Sonic Dad, and you, my friend, are in my workshop, which is cool because we're about to build a really fun project. So, let's get started. So let's start with the Sonic Monocopter. Pick one of the five designs and print the graphic sheet on regular printer paper. I'll give you a link to free step-by-step -step instructions, templates, and graphics at the end of this video. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut out the graphic exactly on the cut line like this. Now line up a metal ruler on the first fold line and make a crease. Turn the graphic over and make the first fold. Keep creasing and folding until the last fold on the back of the wing looks just like this. Stick a piece of clear tape on the back of the wing with about half of it extending below. Now fold the tape over and press it in place. Now we need to make two counterweights for the monocopter out of jumbo popsicle sticks. Lay a jumbo popsicle stick on the marking template and mark the cut line. You can use heavy duty shears like these to cut your popsicle sticks. Kitchen shears or gardening shears also work well, and you may want to clean up the cut edge with a piece of sandpaper. To make our monocopter look better, let's mark the edges of the counterweight with a permanent marker. We'll color the top surfaces in just a bit. Now apply a thin bead of hot glue on the wing in this area and attach the first weight. After the glue cools, turn the wing over and attach the second weight. Now we can finish coloring each counterweight. Double check to make sure the wing is straight and you're finished. I'll show you how to fly it in just a minute. But first, let's make the Sonic Boomerang. Pick one of the five designs and print the graphics out on a full sheet printer label. You can also print the graphics on regular printer paper and glue it to a piece of cardboard, and I'll show you how to do that in a later step. Roughly cut around the graphic like this, peel the backing of the label, and carefully stick it to a piece of thick poster board. Be sure it's thick poster board and not the cheap thin stuff. You can also use a piece of cardboard from a cereal box. If you printed the graphic on regular printer paper, use a glue stick to apply glue to the back side, then carefully stick the graphic to a piece of cardboard. Now you can also stick down the aileron gauge on the cardboard. Carefully cut all the way around the boomerang on the cut line, then cut all three ailerons on the side using the cut line on the wing and also cut out the aileron gauge. Hold a metal ruler on the back side of the wing lined up with a fold line on the aileron. Then crease the aileron down about 10 degrees. Bend the other two ailerons. Check the aileron angle with the gauge and make any adjustments necessary. The last step is to make sure each wing is straight with no twist. I'll show you how to fly the boomerang in just a minute. But first, let's make the Sonic Action Figure Parachute. We'll start with some thin plastic tablecloths. I like this kind that I found at a local super center. You can buy them in a bunch of colors for about a dollar each. Cut a piece of tablecloth 24 inches square. Now fold it in half, then half again, with all four corners lining up like this. Use a ruler and marker to measure and mark a line five inches from each corner, and carefully cut out with scissors. I like to cut just on the outside of the mark so it doesn't show up on my finished parachute. Now lay the piece out flat on your work surface. Stick a 2 inch long piece of tape halfway on one side with half the tape extending below. Now bring the other side of the cutout around, line it up and stick it together like this. Turn the piece over and stick the extra tape on the back side. Do this on all four corners. The next step is to cut two pieces of crochet thread or kite string 30 inches long. Mark each of the ends of the strings one inch from the end. Attaching the string to the parachute is easy. Just stick a piece of tape about two inches long to the string on the mark. Then just stick the tape and string down even with the edge of the plastic. To keep the string from slipping through the tape, fold the loose end over and apply a second piece. Now attach the second end of the string to the next corner on the canopy. 
After you've attached both strings, hold two corners of the canopy together like this and stretch the string out tight to find the middle. Now tie a knot in the end of the string, leaving a small loop. Then tie a knot in the second string. To make the parachute harness, we'll use some fishing swivels and small hair rubber bands. Insert a rubber band through the eyelet in the swivel, then back through itself and pull it tight. Now loop a second rubber band through the first one, back through itself and pull it tight. Attach the harness to a four inch action figure by looping the bottom rubber band around one leg and the top rubber band around the arm. Make one more harness for the other side and put it on in the same way. Connect each clasp through the loop in the parachute shroud lines. And now your action figure is ready for his first jump and our three projects are built, so let's go have some fun. Flying the Sonic Monocopter is really easy. Start by holding the wing between your fingers like this, then throw it in the air with a quick flip of your wrist and some upward arm motion. But here's a tip. For younger kids, or if you want to fly in a room with a low ceiling, throw the monocopter with the trailing edge of the wing up. This will cause it to start auto-rotating sooner. But for maximum altitude and the longest flights, throw with the leading edge of the wing up. Of course, you can get even longer flights by throwing from a balcony or a deck. The Sonic Boomerang flies best in calm winds or indoors. Throwing the boomerang takes a little practice, but you can master it pretty quickly. Start by holding the boomerang between your thumb and index finger in your right hand with the printed side facing you. Bring your wrist back with the boomerang almost touching your forearm and your arm back about even with your head. Throwing the boomerang is a combination of a throwing motion with your arm and a very quick snap with your wrist. The throwing motion gives the boomerang some forward motion and the wrist snap gives the necessary rotation. The boomerang will fly away from you vertically and return horizontally. Catch it by bringing your hands together like this. And that's all there is to it. A little practice and you'll be throwing boomerangs like a pro. Packing the parachute for your action figure is pretty easy. Start by straightening the canopy out tight like this. Now fold it in half, then roll it up tightly. Keep rolling and winding until the shroud lines are completely wound around the canopy. Okay, here we go. Ready? I like to throw the action figure with a vigorous underhanded toss to get the little skydiver in the air. Of course, you can also throw from a deck or an elevated position. But my favorite way to get the action figure airborne is with an RC airplane. I rigged this one up with an auxiliary channel on my transmitter to release the payload. This system will carry several action figures at once. Okay, when I tell you, you flip the switch and we'll drop those guys, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, drop. There they go. Can you catch them? And if you're wondering why the sides of the parachute have these openings, well, they're vent holes for stability. Just like the military's brand new parachute, the T-11, the vent holes keep the parachute from oscillating during descent. But even without an aerial drop, you can still have a lot of fun with a hand launch. And don't worry if you tangle the shroud lines, just unhook the swivels, untangle the lines, and connect them again for more sonic action. If you'd like to build these projects, you can download free step-by-step -step instructions, graphics, and templates by clicking on these links. And if you like these projects, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for the next Sonic Project. So who's gonna blow control it? Me. I'm gonna be the pilot, okay? Okay, so we're gonna put him in the middle. And we'll put him right beside me. This guy. Right there, what do you think? Yeah. Kind of cozy, but that should work. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.